The Hunter's Fury gear set, the Backfire Exotic SMG, and the Memento Exotic Backpack. Three of the strongest build pieces for close quarter combat together, all on the same build. A trifecta, if you will, with uncapped damage bonuses delivering 1.274 million damage on crit. And it can do more. What's incredible is that we're doing all this damage while rolling with 1.5 million armor. We're a tank with max bleed resistance, and we get 300,000 armor on kill, 3% armor regeneration, and 600,000 in bonus armor per Memento Trophy. If you want to bulldoze down the enemy and have a ton of survivability, you want this build. It's easy to put together. I'll show you. And we're starting right now. This is a great time to be highlighting this build because the current season has all of these gear pieces on the rewards track. That's right, you can get the Backfire, the Memento, and a full Hunter's Fury set just by leveling up. This build is completely immune to bleed, so you're gonna have to farm the right gear pieces to achieve it. Luckily, they're not that hard to acquire. This build is centered on the Backfire Exotic SMG. It stacks hits to give you up to 200% crit damage, which is all that you need. With that, however, comes bleed that can kill you if you don't have resistance built in. We're gonna be immune to that. Now we're rolling the infamous exotic memento backpack, the crowd favorite. I put a bleed resistance mod on it. We're using every bit of the backpack's perks and talents. It's giving us 15% weapon damage from the extra core attribute, 15% weapon damage bonus when we grab a trophy, which at full stacks is delivering another 30% weapon damage. That's a total of 60% added weapon damage, and it grows. We also get 3% armor regen at full stacks, as well as more skill efficiency for a stronger shield. But the main reason I want the memento is for the bonus armor. That's why I pushed the armor for this build up to 1.5 million, so we get 600 thousand bonus armor per trophy and we're always grabbing more than one trophy because we're chain killing when we stack them the enemy can't burn our armor fast enough and by the time they do we kill them and then we get that armor on kill if we need it and more bonus armor The chest piece is the first piece of Hunter's Fury for the 15% SMG damage. We're running four pieces, so we're also getting 20% armor on kill and the talent Apex Predator. This gives us 45% amplified weapon damage, which is where our burst damage is all coming from. I like running the chest piece because it pushes 25% of the Apex Predator's amplified weapon damage stacks to 30 seconds instead of 10 seconds. That makes it super easy to maintain. You can go with Intimidate on your chest piece instead, but I think this is better. The 25% amplified weapon damage stacks don't require the enemy to be within 15 meters, nor does it require bonus armor. Once you get it, it's there when you need it through the duration of the combat. The gloves have armor and hazard protection. So does the holster. The knee pads have weapon damage and hazard protection. Now the reason why this can be argued to be the best gear set is because it is so well rounded. Because of all the damage we discussed, of course, but there is also the status effect that disorientates enemies nearby when you get a kill. That moment is invaluable. Many times it's the difference between life and death because it gives you time to reload or get another kill so you stagger the group again and so on and so on. I'm running the striker shield that you only have access to with the firewall specialization. Gunner is another way to go, but I think this is better. Let me explain. With mods, this shield is giving the build a 13% damage bonus per enemy in your attack zone. There is no cap on this. So if you have five enemies in front of you, for example, you're getting 65% damage bonus just what you need in times like that. The gunner specialization, on the other hand, gives you 10% more armor on kill, but you don't need that, mostly because of the Memento Backpack's 600,000 bonus armor per trophy and the gear set's 20% armor on kill, not to mention the 3% armor regeneration you're getting from Memento as well. The other reason you want gunner is for the ammo generation it gives you. So you basically have a choice to make, 13% damage bonus per enemy with no cap, or ammo regeneration. In theory, and what I experience, if you're doing more damage, you're using less ammo. I cleared four heroic control points in about 20 minutes and never ran out of ammo. 
If you're adding a bunch of directives, then that could change which specialization you run with, of course. My second skill is the Defender Drone. You don't need a Restore Drone since you have the armor on kill. The Defender is adding a layer of protection to help your shield, armor, and bonus armor stay up longer. It's especially helpful for crossing the terrain while enemies are shooting at you. Fighting at distance is your weakness. This skill helps you close in on the enemy. I'm wearing the Hollow Man mask, which is the named Yaw Gear mask. This mask is giving us 30% bleed resistance alone. It also gives you 10% health damage, which is very helpful against enemy warhounds, chungas, and weak points. You don't need more crit damage, this build has enough of that already. Health damage is another layer of multiplicative damage that is very helpful against tanky bosses and their weak points. Also for their turrets and stuff. You can also have a regular Yaw mask here too. But to be immune to bleed, this build needs you to have at least one piece of y'all gear somewhere. This brand set is exclusive to the Dark Zone, but it's actually easier to get by farming named item caches. If you want to learn more about that, I recommend watching this video. I'll put a link here and in the description area below. Stats. The total crit damage is at 250% with the backfire. The crit chance is a little low, but as you can see, it's not a problem with the setup thanks to the amplified weapon damage and damage bonuses. You can get crit chance a little higher by not running the Hollow Man mask if you prefer. Defensively, we have just shy of 1.5 million armor and 300,000 armor on kill. Nice. Remember, at full stacks, the Memento backpack is going to give you 3% armor regen, which is 45,000 armor back per second. You also have almost 70% hazard protection and 99% bleed resistance. And those come in handy all the time, not just because of the backfire. However, this is enough to be completely immune to the backfire's bleed effect. This build is especially great for heroic content. You can also use it for legendary content, like you see here, even legendary hunters. But for legendary SMG builds, I'm not a huge fan of using the Memento. The bonus armor doesn't last, and when they take you down, you go down hard and lose all those Memento stacks. That can be very frustrating. I'd run Cheska instead with Adrenaline Rush. I'd also run Intimidate because buffs on a timer tend to time out when playing legendary and Intimidate doesn't do that. These three builds have max explosive resistance and make playing Legendary much, much easier. They hit so hard, you can solo Legendary Strongholds with them or lead in damage output when playing Legendary in group. Tux, out. Rogue Agent neutralized.